rising phoenix. Come for the pizzas. Oh, oh my God. Stay for the bowling. I watched the movie last night and it really felt at home for me. It, I, I really connected to it because here's a story of a man who's rising up from a past that he's trying to move beyond. And um, it was just really inspiring. And I think a lot of people with everything going on right now can definitely relate. So Gary, I want to start with you. Can you tell me about the inspiration you had? Maybe like some uh, personal experiences that motivated you to make this movie? Yeah, for sure. I, I think, uh, you know, hitting your middle ages really was the big, big thing. Just how, how you, you feel, you feel the clock ticking. You know, it's about personal happiness, personal fulfillment. I mean, we're all, we're all pursuing happiness and fulfillment in our work and in our relationships. And that's kind of something I'm just sort of obsessed with. Like, how do you live a good life? How do you live a happy life? It's hard. Some days you don't feel happy. And so, yeah, just channeling those themes really into Bobby and Carlos. A lot of times I feel like either one of those on a given day, Bobby and Carlos. What were you thinking when you first read this script? How did it emotionally attach to you? When you're halfway through, <laughs> everything has a kind of um, a special importance to it that you don't necessarily ascribe any to when you're younger. Um, and really, what have I done? Um, and what have I accomplished? And what's the point of any of it? And do I have a second chance? And um, are my goals really, in the long run, do they mean anything? I mean, I think I feel like those are all the questions that were that were put up and. Uh, uh, and it's something that we all grapple with at one point or another. Well, it's, it's like Diedrich says, you know, as actors and as artists, we try to find material that we want to really put our heart behind, you know, our passion. That's, that's what comes across in this film is everybody's passion. But I think dancing with these guys, we realized that we had um, a great core of brilliant artists in terms of what they do. Well, I'm not like Bobby, uh, but uh, I, uh, you know, I identify with his fear of success. So like, you know, you get in your zone and you get in your lane and you can stay in that zone and it's comfortable. And maybe you've had your fingers burnt a few times by extending. Uh, so, I mean, I think we can all identify with that kind of dilemma. These two geniuses are opening up a pizza parlor slash bowling alley. It's classy. Phoenix, Oregon. 